Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Arsenia Creates. I am Gracie and for this video we are going to make a kid's pyjamas. I am going to use a sewing pattern from Simplicity 1574 version C. This is not my first time to use this pattern. I actually made one for my son before and unfortunately he's outgrown it already and he requested for another one. In fact, he did choose his fabric for this and also buttons and he's very excited for it. But before we move on, please don't forget to click subscribe on this channel, Arsenia Creates for more crafting and sewing. For the materials, we will need a woven fabric. Since this PJs is for my son, I let him choose his own fabric. We will also need a lightweight feasible interfacing, buttons, elastics, a matching thread, and of course the sewing pattern from Simplicity 1574 that we will follow. Stay stitch the front and back neck edges half an inch from the cut edge. This stitching stays in permanently and helps prevent stretching on curved edges. Following the manufacturer's directions, apply the feasible interfacing to the wrong side of the front extension, placing straight edge along fault line, having the outer edges even. I have used an overlocker or serger to edge finish my fabric, but if you don't have the machine, you can use a simple zigzag stitch from your sewing machine or stitch a quarter of an inch from the edge, then turn an under along the stitching and then stitch. Press under a quarter of an inch on upper edge of the pocket. Turn the upper edge to outside along the fold line, forming a facing. Now stitch along seam line on raw edges and then trim to a quarter of an inch or 6 millimeters. Clip the corners of the facing, then turn the facing to inside, turning under raw edges along stitching. Thank you. 
Also clip the round edges before giving it a good press. Stitch facing close to inner edge. On the outside, Pin pocket to front bodies, placing the upper corners at large dots. Stitch close to side and lower edges. Pin the front to back shoulder seams, then stitch. You can edge finish the shoulders with zigzag stitch over the edge then press. But I am going to use an overlocker to edge finish my shoulder seams. Pin fusible interfacing to the wrong side of the collar. Cut diagonally across corners that will be enclosed with seams. Fuse interfacing in place following the manufacturer's directions.
Machine stitch 5 8 inch or 1.5 centimeters from the notched edge of the collar. Clip notched edge of collar to stitching at small dots. I forgot this part before I fused the interfacing to my fabric, but you need to cut diagonally across the corners. Press under 5 8 inch or 1.5 cm on raw edge between clips and trim to a quarter of an inch or 6 mm. With the right sides together, stitch facing to collar, leaving notched edges open. Trim seams and corners. Turn the collar and then press. On the outside, top stitch color a quarter of an inch or 6 millimeters from finished edges. Clip a neck edge of garment to stay stitching.
on the outside, pin color to neck edge, matching center's back, placing small dot at shoulder seam and front end at center front. Baste both collar and facing sections to front neck edge as far as the small dot. Baste only the collar facing section to remaining neck edge between small dots. As you can see that there's still an opening between the small dots. Turn the front extensions to outside along the fault line, forming a facing. Then baste the neck edge. Clip neck edge through all the thicknesses at small dot. Stitch the entire neck edge as basted, being careful not to catch in a free edge of color. Trim seam and clip curves. Thank you. 
Turn facing to inside, turning back neck seam toward collar, then press. To keep facing in place, tuck facing to shoulder seam allowance by tucking it by hand or using a small piece of fusible web. On the outside, stitch in the ditch or groove of collar seam between the shoulder seam. To stitch in the ditch, I am just stitching on the seam between the collar and bodies while stretching it to make sure it won't be visible later. I have not shown on this part but the inner part of the collar was folded in before I stitched. With the right sides together, pin sleeve to armhole edge with center small dot at shoulder seam, matching remaining small dots, and then stitch. If you're not using an overlocker, stitch again at 1 8 inch or 3 millimeters from first stitching. Press seam toward sleeve. Stitch front to back at entire underarm seam, matching armhole seams.
Press up hem along lower edge of sleeve. Press under a quarter of an inch on raw edge. Now, stitch close to inner pressed edge. Turn facing to outside. Then stitch across facing along hem markings. Trim facing close to stitching and trim garment to within 5 8 inch or 1.5 centimeters of inner edge of facing. Turn facing to inside, then press. Now press up hem. Press under a quarter of an inch or 6 millimeters on raw edge. Stitch hem in place starting at the opening edge. To mark buttonholes in 
right or left front, place guide along finished edge of garment, matching centers. Transfer buttonhole markings to garment. You can use a seam ripper to make a hole for your buttonholes. Lap front matching centers and hand sew the buttons under the buttonholes. Now your pajama top is finished. Stitch inner leg seam of each pant section. With right sides together, insert one pant leg inside the other. With right sides together, pin a center seam matching inner leg seams and notches. and then stitch. To reinforce seam, stitch again over your first stitching.
trim seam in curved area to a quarter of an inch or 6 millimeters. I will use an overlocker so I will skip this step. Press remaining seam open. To keep elastic from getting stuck in the seam allowances as it's inserted, use fusible web or machine basted to anchor them to garment within the casing area. Just be sure to remove basting after casing is finished. Press an inch and a quarter or 3.2 centimeters on upper edge to inside, forming a casing. Press under a quarter of an inch on raw edge. Stitch close to lower edge of casing, leaving an opening to insert elastic. Cut a piece of elastic to fit waist, plus an inch or 2.5 centimeters. Insert elastic through casing. Overlap ends and hold with safety pin. Try on garment and adjust to fit. Then stitch ends of elastic together securely. Stitch opening closed. Distribute fullness evenly, 
and remove the basting. Press up hem. Press under a quarter of an inch or six millimeters on raw edge. Lastly, stitch close to inner pressed edge. And you have now finished your pyjama trousers. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you if you're looking for a sewing tutorial for a kid's pyjama set. If you like this video, please don't forget to click a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet, please do so for more videos of crafting and sewing here on Arsenia Creates. See you next time!